Hi there. I did a uh, plant haul today. I went around to a couple local nurseries and I found a couple beautiful plants. This one's just stunning. And as I've shown you guys before, every time I bring a new plant home, I always get my systemic in it because I don't want to bring any bugs into my house. Um, so I'm doing that right now. And then I'm gonna put them into a quarantine. I don't want them getting intermingled with my plants right away. So we're gonna do that. Get that worked into the soil a little bit. It almost looks like they maybe, I'm sure the nursery had to put some systemic in it ahead of time, but nevertheless, I just don't want to pick up any bugs but and bring them into my house. But everything looked good on it. I did check before I brought this, you know, picked this one, that there's no um, damage on the bottom of the leaves. From bugs or any you know any issues but look how thick that stock is I did not know how thick that stock would be so that's kind of fun I've never grown this one before so I don't know I mean I see a little bit of new growth right there but I don't know what it's gonna do but it is blooming and then I always pick the plant that has the smallest bloom so that I can enjoy it the longest at my own house so that is one but the ones that I feel like I get a super good deal on um, were Hoyas and they had them labeled incorrectly. So I grabbed them. I'm gonna split them up and share them with some people. But the funny thing is, is I didn't, you know, I, I almost, I almost feel like I'm rescuing them instead of, you know, um, you know, buying them for fun because you guys, they, these pots, I bought both of them. These pots are five, I don't know, 10 pounds. I don't know, but look at how wet that bottom is. And anybody that knows Hoya, look at it, it's dripping right now. So anybody that knows Hoya knows that's terrible. So I um, am rescuing this one. I'm taking it out of the pot right away tonight and I'm gonna let it um, completely dry or those, ro those roots are gonna be rotted. But look at this. It's a Hoya Parasitica black margin. And they labeled one correctly. But, and this one's really heavy too, but it's just not, it's not leaking out of the bottom so much. A little bit. But check out this one. They put the wrong name on it. So I think, I mean, I personally knowing, watching prices for a long time, they totally underpriced it. So I brought it home. I'm going to rescue it. I'm going to split it up. I don't know how many plants I've got in here, but look how pretty those leaves are. And if I didn't do anything, if this sat there for another... 48, oh God, it's dripping. Another 48 hours, all these plants would have been dead. So anyways, it is a, just unfortunate that the um, people that take care of the plants at the um, local stores just don't really know how to water them. Um, they're doing their best, but I think with, you know, the lack of staff, people just really don't, um, you know, they're hiring anybody that will help. So anyways, that was my big find today. I'm super, super excited about it. And then my sweet little daughter, um, she wanted, she was with me and she wanted these cute calanchos. So I'm gonna put my insecticide on there, or my um, systemic rather, and um, before she gets those into her bedroom. And then here's the other one. Look cute. And <laughs> she wanted some living stones. <laughs> so we'll get those. This, thank God, they, you know, are, they're completely dry. If I pull it out, you'd see all the soil will just crumple off. But, um, so I was happy to buy that one. That one's going to be in really good shape. So there you go. Oh, wait a minute. I went to a different store because they posted that they had gotten a haul of these variegated string of pearls. And I'd been watching those for a while, so... Um, I think I paid too much, but <laughs> I'd watched for a while, so it was time to just pick some up. I'm going to put them in my east window, um, probably hang them in a macrame container, so, or a hanger rather. So there you have it. So fun, fun, but I think I got the biggest steal on my Hoyas because they didn't know what they were selling and they didn't know how to take care of them. So here I am. We'll take them out and let the soil dry for the next 48, 72 hours, and then I'm going to split them all up. But yeah, it is, I should get a scale out and, and weigh them. It would be very interesting. I'm going to do that um, 
and I'll let you guys know how much they weighed. But, oh here, I can show you this. This gives you another idea of how, how they kept them way too wet. Look at this box. Isn't that nuts? So anyways, always check your plants when you get them. Don't trust that the nursery center um, knew what they, or not the nursery, the, um, yeah, the nursery, the store, um, knew what they were doing, because this is just, it's unfortunate. So anyways, beautiful plant. Bye, guys.